Today I'm going to show you how you can estimate your taxes in Excel. So whether you're self-employed or just have some extra income on the side and you want to estimate how much in taxes you'll have to pay next year, Excel is a great place to do those calculations because you can do if statements and determine your income at uh, various tax brackets. So in front of me I've got a schedule that shows different income levels, the tax rate, and in order to calculate the tax owing. Up here I'm going to enter the total income, calculate the marginal tax rate, and the to total tax owing based on these calculations. So let's say you've got an income of $100,000 and you want to calculate or determine the marginal tax rate. In this case you do a simple VLOOKUP. Look up that $100,000 on this table, return the second column because you want the actual tax rate percentage. For the last argument you can either leave a blank or set it to true. Either way you don't want to set it to false because you don't want Excel to look for an exact match. By setting it to true I'm telling Excel to look for an approximate match. So it's going to keep going until the value is more than the amount I'm looking up. So in this case I'm looking up at $100,000 and so it's more than 86,376 but not more than 164. So this is the closest without going over. So Excel is going to put me in this row extract the second column which is going to be 24%. So if I were to change this income from 100,000 to say 50,000 then it's going to put me right here because 50,000 is not more than 86 so it hasn't reached this level only 45 well only that level. So that gives me 22%. So as you can see with a VLOOKUP it can it can easily tell you which tax bracket you fall into. The key thing is making the make, making sure these income levels are sorted in ascending order. Okay, now onto the more complicated calculation that's determining all the tax owing. So I'm going to start with the the first level, the first tax bracket of 10%. And so what I'm going to do is create an if if statement here and say, okay, if the income is greater than or equal to the next tax bracket. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to know is my income at least 99.51? If it is, then I know the entire income should be taxed at 10%. This tax bracket should be maxed out. And in that case, what I'm going to do is take 99.51, subtract the first threshold, the, the income level for the first threshold, which is zero. Otherwise, if my income wasn't at least 99.51, then I know it was less than that, in which case I'm just going to take the total amount and multiply by 10%. Okay, so I'm going to close this because what I'm interested in here is getting the income level that needs to be taxed at this 10%. And then the last part is just actually multiplying it by this tax rate. So as you can see, $995.10, which is 10% of this. Now, if my income was only $5,000, let's take a, a zero away from here, then it's only it's only $500 and the reason is I've taken this entire amount multiplied it by 10%. That was that second part of that of that if statement. Okay. So I'll change this back to 50 and let's go to the next next calculation. So I can copy this down before doing so I'll freeze cell for the income level. But there's one, one adjustment I need to make here because before when the income wasn't um greater than this next level, I, I just simply took the entire amount and multiplied it by the tax rate. I can't do that in this case because I don't want to be doubling up. And so what I'm going to do here is subtract the income from this threshold. Okay, But the one thing I also want to do is use the max function in, in case it's negative. And I'll show you in a, I'll show you how it's going to work in a second here. So I'm going to close this out. Okay. And so first I'm going to, in this, in the first scenario, $50,000 is more than this next threshold. So to prove this out, I'm going to go under the formula tab and hit evaluate formula. I'll show you how this works. So it's checking B3, which is the income, is greater than this 4526, which it is. So in this case, it's just like the calculation before, it's taking everything at this level. It's taking this amount minus this, which is going to be 30575 and it's going to multiply that by 
right? And that's going to give me 36.69. And so regardless of whether my income is 50,000 or $500,000, that's always going to be the same amount because it can't possibly be more because that's for that tax bracket, that's how much it's going to be taxed. Now, a tricky part is if my income is only let's say $10,000. Let's make this really really simple, just barely above that tax bracket. So now I've only got a tax on $5.88. So let's go back and see how this works. So in this example, it's it's not greater than 45 through 6. It hasn't reached that tax bracket. So I know that I'm only going to be calculating on the second part of that, that if function. So let's go look at that income level minus the 9951. Because this is the part that's, o that's over the second threshold. I don't want to... Just take the 10,000 and multiply by 12%. Because remember, I've already calculated that that first tax bracket. I'd be doubling up if I were to do that again. And so I don't want to include that income in this tax bracket calculation as well. I just want that incremental difference, which is only $49. right? So I times the $49 by 12%, and that gives me 588. right? Because 49 plus 9951 is 10,000. So if my income was less than 9951, let's go, go back and set this back to just $5,000, then this is going to be zero. And that was the reason, reason for, for, that, uh, for that max function. Because now what it does is it's going to take the maximum amount of either zero or 5,000 minus 9951, which is obviously going to be a negative number. I don't want a negative calculation. I want to say if it's negative, just take the zero, which is what it does. So zero times... 12%. And this this allows you to factor in for all these different calculations, whether you're above the threshold, where you're in that tax bracket, or you don't meet that. So now that these calculations are, are set up, I can copy these down for, for the remaining ones. So now let's change my income back to, let's say, $210,000, just so it's just above that tax bracket. And so now you can see it's it's going to calculate, make those calculations at each level, right? And so the last, the last one, just like the first one, is going to be uh, treated a bit differently because obviously I don't have another uh, income level that I can use. So in this case, I'm going to use an if function again and say, okay, if my income is greater than this amount, then what I'm going to want to do is just take the total income minus that amount, right? Otherwise, I'm going to take zero because I don't need to calculate anything at this tax bracket if if I'm not over that and times it by that 37%, right? So obviously, I haven't reached this threshold, so nothing's going to be taxed. So if I change this to $524,000, which is just above that threshold, now there's going to be an amount here. And so let's go prove this out one more time. So 524 is more than 523,600. In this case, it's taking that difference, $400, times it by 37% and making that calculation there. So as you can see, that's not going to, to, to change regardless, or I mean, it's still gonna calculate the, the same way as the other ones. It's just taking the amount that's over $523,600. So if I were to change this to, let's just add a million dollars. Let's just add another zero, 5.2 million. You know, these other tax brackets will not change. If this is working properly, then the only thing that should change is this last tax bracket because everything else will be the same. And so you see that even at that in change in income, it's going to be that last tax bracket that gets updated. So let's change this back. And now if you want to calculate your total tax owing, then all we need is is a simple sum function. Take these totals, enter it, and that tells me my total tax owing. So if I made $524,000, my marginal tax rate is 37%, and the total tax at estimate I owe, 157. If I change this back to $100,000, you'll notice that for these income threat, these income tax brackets, again, these are zeros because I didn't, I didn't make 164 grand or more. So these ones were zeroed out. And so now it's telling me that my total is just going to be 18,020. So 
that that's that's as far as I'm going to go with with this template. I know th this can be a bit complicated to follow, so I'll leave a a link to where you can download this file if you want to use it um, on your own. You can do other other calculations from here on as well. Like you you could deduct your uh, the ta any taxes or installments you've paid, any tax credits you you expect to have but the thing is obviously taxes are really complicated from one country or one jurisdiction to another they can change significantly so there's no real point to try to even uh factor all those different possibilities in but the point is once you, once you get to this where you can at least determine your total tax owing then you can make any sort of adjustments that you want whether what whether it's backing out installment payments or credits that you're going to expect but the way i look at this is this is sort of a good worst case scenario for you where let's say you haven't paid any taxes you're not factoring any credits this is how much you expect you'll have to pay under that scenario right and so this is something i do that helps me because all my income is uh self-employment income so it's really effective i find in estimating so at least you know that you've got enough money set aside for for your taxes and again you you can build this up to be a lot more complicated and have a lot more assumptions and deductions, but this at least should serve as a good starting point and a way to determine how much tax you might owe. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope you found this useful.